Hey, welcome back to Let's Eat with Russ. Today we're going to make green chorizo and potato tacos. So I'm kind of lucky. I've got a really good chorizo store in my neighborhood and all they do is chorizo and it's not like the store-bought pre-packaged chorizo. So you may or may not have access to something like this, but you can do this with regular chorizo as well. So I'm just cutting the casing off of this so I can get the meat out of it. And a lot of people have probably never seen or heard of green chorizo, but it's just a different type of chilies that they use to make it. So I'm going to remove the casing and just throw it all into a bowl here. I missed a spot with my scissors. So we'll just throw that all into a bowl. And it's it's basically ready to go. It's ready to cook. So I just got to uh, grate the, the potato. And I don't even bother... Uh, Peeling the potato, I just use the peels, it's no big deal. And I just use a regular cheese grater. Basically, it's like if I was prepping it for hash browns. And once I get the potato grated, and I just kind of eyeball it, I'm kind of looking for about equal volume of chorizo to potato. You know, kind of a one-to-one -one ratio. And I won't make you just sit here and watch me grate a potato, but just to show you uh, what I do, again, sort of like making hash browns, when you have your potato grated, you don't need too much moisture, and there's kind of a lot in a potato. So I actually just kind of squeeze it and get those juices out a bit, and then just let it kind of drain off into the sink less moisture is better so you don't have you know soggy tacos kind of a thing so I'm gonna get this prepped and then I'll show you the cooking process in just a minute here okay so our pan is basically preheated I got it about yeah, medium heat but once you get it hot it's hot um, so I'm gonna throw in a little bit you always want to use some sort of a fat a grease whatever something to sort of uh, you know just grease the pan so I'm going to use some of my homemade lard I'll post that video eventually of how to make lard so I'll throw that in there get that melting down and the the grated potatoes are going to cook a little faster than the actual chorizo itself so I'm going to throw the chorizo in first get that cooked down a little bit and then the potatoes you kind of add towards the end because they cook up pretty fast and I get it you might not have access to this type of chorizo you can use regular store-bought chorizo to do this it will still be good but in my opinion this is better so you might look around for your local uh, Mexican grocery store markets or whatever and see if they have actual chorizo in the meat counter versus just the prepackaged stuff that you can get at any grocery store. Even the stuff at any grocery store is still good, but this is better. I mean, you can see it's not fat and turning into soup like the regular stuff does. So I gotta break this up a little bit. So I'm gonna let this cook down and revisit in just a minute or several minutes all right so our chorizo is basically pretty much cooked as you can see I kind of broke it up with a spoon as best I could into smaller chunks and pieces again Store-bought chorizo is going to just melt down into fatty soup and it'll be easier to break up, but this stuff is so high quality and lean 
you got to work a little harder with the spoon to break it up into smaller chunks like this. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my potatoes, already grated, and remove as much of the moisture from it by squeezing them as I could. And the potatoes don't take long to cook because they're grated like this, so they're going to they're going to mix in and kind of sear up pretty fast. I don't know, I'm guessing probably maybe three or four minutes should be plenty for the potatoes to get cooked up. Yeah, I'll say three to five minutes, something like that. So yeah, we just get it all mixed up like this, and then I just got to cook up some tortillas, and then just, you know, scoop it into a tortilla and make tacos out of it. And these are going to be delicious. And just like any other taco, you know, you can do your favorite salsa or hot sauce and onion, cilantro, whatever you would normally put into a taco. So I'm going to get these finished off. And I'll show the tortilla and assembly process in a few minutes, even though I'm sure most people probably know how to put a taco together. I'll show it in the video anyway, just so that it's sort of a um, cradle-to-grave presentation, just to show the whole process. So I'm going to let this cook up for a few more minutes. All right, so we're basically good to go here, but I just tasted it a little bit, and it needs a little bit of salt and pepper, so I'm going to The chorizo isn't quite strong, the green chorizo specifically, isn't quite strong enough flavored to uh, make the potatoes delicious on their own. So just a little salt and pepper should do the trick. That should be good. And we'll just mix that all in. Should be good to go. Should be some great taco filling. And then I'm going to heat up some tortillas and start putting tacos together. I'm going to feed my neighbor's entire family of all right, now I'm going to cook up the tortillas to make these tacos. Basically, you're just heating them up. You don't really have to cook them that much. Um, but just to show you a trick, again, this might be super basic to some people. It might be useful to others who don't know. So you can actually do two tortillas at a time and just put them in a stack. You can do this on the grill as well, or it works in a skillet like this. So you can put them in a stack of two. And I won't make you sit through cooking all the tortillas I need to cook for this to use up all that taco filling. But you can just let the let the bottom tortilla get hot. And then you can... Sorry if I can speed this up. My skillet's already hot, but the tortillas are cold, so it's going to take a second here. Uh, but anyway, you can... Uh, when you have a stack of two like this... You can flip the stack over and then just flip the top one. And then when you're when that one's cooked, you can flip the stack over again and just flip the top one. That way you get all four sides and you can cook two tortillas at a time in each stack so you can do it twice as fast versus cooking them individually. So anyway, I'm going to cook all these tortillas up and then I'll start assembling tacos. All right, so the tortillas are cooked. Some of them anyway, I still got a lot more tacos to make, but for the sake of the video, I'll just get this sort of over with. So I got a bunch cooked here. If you really want to do it sort of taqueria style, you know, they wrap them in foil. And since I'm delivering these to my neighbors, I don't know what him or his wife or his kids prefer. So I'm not going to do the onion and cilantro in the tacos, although that's what I would do, or the hot sauce or whatever. So I'm just going to make the tacos themselves. Just use some tongs, grab a little scoop. 
and you know if you want to go sort of authentic taqueria style street tacos they usually wrap them in foil Oop, that might be a little bit much so you can just you know scoop it in there Oops, that guy tried to run on me and then you can just fold them and lean them up against each other thusly and once you get them all made up you just wrap the whole thing in the foil and it's easy to hand off to somebody else like a to-go package so again I'm I'm feeding my neighbors, so I'm going to deliver these. Oh, not a lot of chorizo in that one. Get that going. So you can just get them to kind of fold together into a stack of tacos like that in the foil, and then you can just wrap the whole thing up. Whoops, that one tried to stick to the other guy there. Let me just... Sorry if this is boring. I'm just trying to get this one little set done so I can just kind of show you the whole process. And like I said, if I was making these for myself, I would add onion and cilantro, but I don't know what everybody else likes. So I don't want to get too assumptive and add something that they might not want in their tacos so yeah once you get it to this point and you kind of got all in this case uh, there's half a dozen tacos here you can just stack them up like that wrap the foil over the top folding the sides wrap that one over and pow there you go, half a dozen chorizo, green chorizo and potato tacos. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.